it's where we have a there's a case of police well general issues of police getting involved in private uh, matters a matter came to my attention and let me tell you give you a synopsis of what was brought to my attention a young man um as a child with a young lady so the the, the young lady they have this matter about um, custody before the high court. Now the high court this ruled that um, until a final decision is made as to who should get custody, the the parents should alternate the child and weekend. So one weekend the mother should have the child, the next weekend uh, the father should have the child. And this is a temporary arrangement, counted information until such time that the court um, goes into the facts and decide who, which one of the parents, or which one of the parents must have the child. It is reported that over the Christmas weekend, the child was with the mother. And according to the oral order of the court, the next weekend, which is the last weekend, the child was to be with the father. So, the child spent some time with the mother of the Christmas weekend, and then the father collected the child, and the father, the father had the child for the uh, New Year's weekend. Now, the mother then wanted to get the child. So she went to the police, and she took three policemen, county report, including an inspector of police, to the resident of the father in an attempt to get the child. The police went there and they ordered the father to hand over the child to the mother. Imagine, remember saying, this is a matter before the court, you know. This is a matter engaging the attention of the high court. The high court made a provisional ruling as to how the custody should work. But the mother, partly dissatisfied with what is going on, went to the police. Police sent three ranks, including an inspector of police. They went to the father's residence and demanded that the child be handed over to the mother. The father said, no, the order is that I should have the child this weekend and I am not handing over this child to the mother. I'll take the child to the mother at the end of the period that I should have the child. Police still insisting that he should hand over the child and then they told him they wanted him to go to the police station. Well, he said, even if I'm going to the station, I'm not carrying the child with me, the child will be left there. And he closed the door. And according to Slim, or who told him do that, Oracle, who told him do that? It is alleged that the police broke down the door, broke open the door, went in there, brandishing firearm, the inspector brandishing firearm. And this, this allegation is supported by videotapes. I have seen at least three videotapes where they are in the man's residence, broke open the door. He claims, the, the father claims he's assaulted. He went to the doctor to get medical certificate. He's assaulted. And um, he, he made a report, I understand, and they are trying to dance with the matter. But there are so many things wrong. And this is teaching again for the young policeman. From the time you recognize and you are told that the matter is before the court, I think they're saying they didn't see any written order. They don't have to have a written order. An oral order is a binding order. The, the judge made an oral order, an interim oral order. And if the mother goes to the station and make a report uh, 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 that she is of the child, you have to investigate, find out from the court what is the order. You can't go and, and, and make these type of demands and try to bully the father to hand over. It's a private matter. If the people are in violation of the order of the judge, there's where the court martial and the bailiff, the, the, the bailiff will get involved. The normal thing, they will then go to the police and seek assistance on the police. The police will go there to ensure that there's no, uh, that a breach of the peace is not occasion. It is not the job of the police to go there and make demands, break down the man door uh, and all of that. When you see these things, and, and the worrying part for me, apart from the old action, is that the police inspector spirited this thing. A police inspector spearheaded this operation and acted so incorrectly. Regardless of what they say, I'm not, 
uh, perhaps spirit artifacts. But prima facie, on the face of it, from the time you recognize or you were told that this matter is engaging the court, you got to back off. You have to back off. You have to get the court involved. You're saying that there's no written order. There does, there's no need for a written order to, to be there. You have got to find out from the court what is the order. And if it is the order has been violated, then there are certain steps to be taken, not for you to go there and bully the, the people. And, when I, you know, again, I say um, perhaps if it were, were a constable or, or, or some junior person, you say a lack of experience and um, lack of knowledge, this is an inspector of police. So perhaps lack of experience and um, lack of knowledge too. And then the question will come, oh, then this man became an inspector of police to take such blatantly incorrect wrong action in a matter of this nature. And I have to ask the question as a, again, how an inspector of police is involved in, in, in a matter like this? So even if the person came to the station and they made a report, I want to send to find out what is going on. How come an old inspector you're sending? An old inspector is going there? I believe there's more um, to this matter than is that is being revealed. Let me bring you, Mr. Conway, as a former uh, commander, an experienced commander. Let me hear what CC has to say about what I related. And, and I said this, this is what is related. We're not saying that everything was related is true. But the, the fact, the, the, the thing that the matter is before the court, if a matter is before the court, then you can't jump in and say you're taking action like that. You have to get the court involved again. So, CC, let, 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 let's hear some wisdom, some, some nuggets of wisdom from you. Paul, I, apart from what you said there, I saw the, the tape. And it was... A ridiculous you saw extensive damage done to the door you heard the voices of the inspector and I only only had at least two other con two constables I saw there I heard the complainant relating his story and don't talk about the, the, the furry language from the inspector the vile language that we use there to, to use a common term, you really F up. You know, as you rightly said, if there's a court and more so engaging the attention of the high court, investigate. If she feel that the man has breached the, 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 the order, she has to go back to the judge and the judge will pass his order. And as you rightly mentioned, sometimes you send a bailiff and the police will go there just to ensure that there's no breach of the peace. In too many cases, Police are getting involved in private matters. Matters are not of a criminal nature. Well, it, 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 and, and if we go back to our, 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 our issue, where the action, what we did, there's nothing criminal there. I remember the Attorney General saying that Conway and Slow were members of the Police Service Commission and, and they did work and accepted money. And it's, it is unethical, even though I, I might agree, although I will not, that is unethical. Where is the criminality? Where is the crime that the police got to get involved? And these things are going on at all levels, at the highest level. Now it's gone down to Region 10. We're an inspector, and the cameras don't lie. We heard, I heard it very clearly. The behavior of the inspector, the behavior of the, of the constables, we heard the complainant. I think his mother was was, was 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 there too. We saw the damage done to the building. The, the door was done. And I understand they were saying for hold it down low to make up the matter. They said they're gonna repair the, the, the door and, and, and other things in there, trying to walk to a compromise. Yeah, we well, don't you know I am not confident that any action will be taken against the ranks involved. And um, that is part of the problem. No one is held accountable. No one is held accountable when they um, are, when they violate people's rights in this way. They're not held accountable. And we reference again Romana. Romana arrested a liar for advising her client to not to give a statement to the police. He is she is arrested, and Romana is promoted. The man is now a divisional commander. The same Romana um, assaulted me, arrested me for um, turning up to court. 
and the man was at the time an assistant superintendent. And shortly after, in 2022, the man accelerated to superintendent. So these people are rewarded for this unprofessional action. So what do you expect? It is not going to stop. It is not going to stop. And then, um, unfortunately, when you move to the court, if you have the resources to go to the court, it takes a long time. And then, as we saw with the same Tamika Clark um, incident, when damages are awarded, it's something a paltry sum. I think she, she sued the attorney general um, as a representative of the state for $50 million and was given uh, awarded damages of 700000 3500 US. Imagine that. And that is one of the reasons why these things will continue. When you look at that tape that Mr. Conway is speaking about, when you listen to the statement, Kadiman outlined in detail, to, he explained to the police in detail what has transpired. He explained to the police, and notwithstanding that, they, they tell him that all sort of bullying and all sort of unprofessional um, action and behavior uh, from the police. And as I as again, I say, that is why they wanted to get us off the police service commission, because when we were there at the police service commission, the same lion secretary, Jai Gobind Jai Singh, will tell you about the work that we did when it comes to discipline. Because a lot of people only see the police service commission as the body responsible for promotion, but they also have a constitutional responsibility to discipline from inspector to assistant commissioner. And we were moving ahead with that. They didn't like that. So they run to court and they do all manner of, of, of gymnastics to get us off, trumped up charges and, and all of that. So it, it's a sad situation. It's a sad situation when an inspector, because one would have expected that if perhaps two constables, the inspector who is supposed to be a little bit more knowledgeable and more experienced would have realized that that course of action was totally incorrect. But that is what we have.